And here we are. This will decide who moves on to top 16. It will either be uh, the juggernauts that are Rose or the, the people over in Navi. I bet on Navi just because the the bet money was slightly better because you know that's that's a fun way of doing it. I guess I guess this should be a good one. I don't remember if I've watched a Navi match before, but I have definitely covered Rose, and they always play exceptionally. So this should be this should be a big one. Huh. Now he's really slow on the rallies. Unless I just lag there. No, Navi is really slow. Sure. <coughs> They're only doing But I mean that's that's kind of in line with just how Rose plays. Rose always is like right right on it. They got rallies to every obelisk, and I'm assuming one to side outpost, and one in the middle. I guess that's going to be their flex slot. I I, I always dig how they do that. ever so slightly ahead on these. No rallies waiting. I wonder if that's on purpose. Or if that's just Bobby. That's probably just sloppy, right? I'm assuming they have like an Attila there somewhere. All the structures are nice and open, are nice and captured.
I'm curious how these path. Yeah, these go right down the middle. Pretty hard there. I'm assuming Navi's going. Yup. <laughs> yup. Navi's going. So hard here. There. Ooh, boy. That's going to be hard to take back their desert altar. <clears throat> I'd imagine this one's probably going to veer towards there. That one probably will as well, considering there's so much to They're going to be able to take that. Nelson getting right up in there. Oh, that's interesting. They're going straight for the outpost. These might just hit. Those are just going to hit. Get people in there. Bros got in there right away. <laughs> There's just so many armies around here. I feel like as long as they get in, they're going to be fine. These rallies still going? Hello, Don. Don, go like spam my stream out everywhere. Love you. There's a YSS that's not in the building. So they have a backup garrison here too. Probably from that con. Dude, I, I, I couldn't fall asleep yesterday. I, I slept super late yesterday. And then by 11 o'clock, I'm like, I should just try to like sleep. And I probably fell asleep at like 5 a.m. So I got like two hours of sleep. It's a nightmare. Bro still has enough armies they should be able to hold this for first Auk. They did lose They did lose their Shrine of Life. Is this contested at all?
That's so weird. Some days you don't have it. Some days you're both. Yeah, they got first lock on that desert altar. That's huge. What are they putting? <clears throat> They're already going for the other altar. That's not going to be. No support there. Rose Magic get their Shrine of War as well. Oh man. Rose is doing a lot. How's it going, Calvino Titan? Well, it's come to my attention that you're not Titan from MTO. So I'm so confused as to who you are. Rose is still holding out to this desert altar so well. It's... They got, like, a good amount of points from this. They probably got, like, a good 300 points. Navi manages to vend that. Good. What is that rally hitting? Oh, okay. Dude, I thought you were either Titan or, or Jimmy. And I highly doubt Jimmy's up this early to watch my stream. If this is Effie again. I'm a, I'm gonna lose it. I'm just gonna hold on to this shrine of war. And they have huge battle going in the mid already. There's so many archers here. I forget exactly what they are. They're uh, 1239. Uh, Rose is the red color, thankfully, and it just makes my life so much easier because it's early, and if Rose was blue and Navi was rose-colored, my brain would probably melt. Oh, Effie, how many names do you have? Now, Rose should have a bunch of reinforcements here. Yeah, they do. So I feel like Rose is going to do... It's just going to get this and delay it and then just like push all these buildings super hard. They're probably still pushing the buildings really hard. Look at these rallies. Look at these rallies, man. They've managed to commit so much 
to the middle and they're still putting pressure on every other building that they have. I do. Shout out to my B Phoenix boys. Oh, that's cute. I think that's. He must have came from there. They have every structure on the map right now. They have almost every structure on the map. That Entermyris is going to do some work against that. Uh, I put a bunch of coins on Navi just because the bet was better. I feel like that's gonna be two weeks in a row that Navi, that Navi, just ruins me. Oh yeah, Rose is probably gonna win this 100%. Like they're in such a dominant position. Where's this going? This is going to the altar. And there's no support coming. I guess these guys are gonna come come move down. One reinforcement isn't gonna be enough. I also put some money on Raz against JWM. I also bet on the team that's against OV. I forget what they're called. Looks like, ooh. Navi managed to sneak this out, but they're not going the right way. Well, maybe they are. Maybe they are. They got some good pressure here. Okay, this is where Navi could mount their comeback. They need to start getting all of their structures back. These reinforcements should be enough to negate that out. I'm curious what this Osman Matilda is doing. And why there's an El Cid garrisoning. That, that seems odd. Like, I, I know you can fit a whole bunch of troops in here. But he should have been, like, inside. She, sorry. And Navi needs to hold this. Navi needs to hold this for a very long time. Navi needs to hold the arc and just start. So this death ball needs to kill all these off and then probably... Probably move up to the Shrine of War, I would say. <clears throat> and yeah, 
else it's fine to garrison your city during like Shadow Legion with that weird Effie build. But not in an Osiris match that will decide if you move to the top 16. They need to start getting rallies out. I I know they I know they just cleared it. Yeah, like Osmond Matilda, you can fit a lot of troops in there, but it needs to not be attacking open field. They need to have more than four rallies going at this moment. They're... Oh, they captured the arc right away. They captured the arc right away, and this is a lot closer than what... Rose's opening should have given them. All these armies need to start moving, like, now. Yes, Don, that's, that's the secret tech. Everybody gets to see how bad I actually am at this game in like two hours. Or an hour and a half, I guess. Okay, so Rose has managed to get all their buildings back. <clears throat> I was going to say, they need to start harassing some of these outposts. And that's a good sign that they already have some people there. Amir, if you jinx these guys, this is going to be the biggest the biggest comeback from an insane opening I think I'll have seen. They still don't have rallies going, do they? They have one. They have one going for the Shrine of Life, which I'm questionable about. They, that might just be the only structure that's not well defended and they're just going defining like the little holes they can start going for sky altar like they need to like start that rally now so like that as these die they can just move down and grab that because that's not a far march Navi needs to get these people inside the building. That's just... Ooh. Ooh, was that an arty... Arty Tamiris? That's a con Tamiris!
Oh, there's the Mulans. That Mulan mocks are just 5511. Hmm. That's interesting. Contamirus. That's interesting. That's super interesting. And I'm assuming this already is super defensive tree. Did I see who's did you attack the building at all? No, she didn't. So that's a fresh troop. I can't even tell who the secondary here is. But it's holding off pretty well. Navi needs to be huge in here. Yeah, it's a really rent. Like, they definitely need this arc. Because if Navi gets this arc, then Navi's going to be ahead. That seems really early four to the death. These armies need to start attacking that rally or moving towards the Shrine of War. If, like, two of those armies were by the Shrine of War, they would take it. Although that Attila is doing pretty well. Ah, there's some supporting armies. That'll probably do well. I feel like Rose's plan is if they get the arc, they're going to delay it so there's not a third one. I that would be really smart because the only way they're going to lose this match is by a third arc. Now he's managed to pull ahead on points. That Artie is still alive. Man, are those armies still just standing around doing nothing? Okay, some of them moved. Mimi, you're killing me. Mimi, you're killing me. Depending on how many time depending on how many times the arc changes hands, they might be able to delay it a decent amount. Go well. Yeah, if that. Uh, you're killing me. So Rose managed to get the arc about this far last time, and then Navi managed to sneak it out. But I feel like Navi doesn't have any army. <clears throat>
I'm gonna be able to get that desert alt. Hey, could you imagine if... Okay, now they're finally going for Shrine of War. We need to get in that Shrine of War before that arc gets there. Oh, the Shrine of War is just going to go... Yeah, the, the arc's just going to go hide here. They're going to delay it as much as they can. Like, you're so late there. Oh, that... Okay, that's interesting. One of them have the provisioning one. And I think it's Navi. It's there. I wish I would have put a proper garrison in there. Like, the Attila Decade is fine, but if they would have had a mixed one, all these infantry could have gotten in to help support. So now he's definitely backpedaling right now. We're not getting anywhere on that desert altar. That's a scary amount of troops, though. Top side needs to the top side needs to put in work right now. The bottom side needs to just defend. Not the shrine of war. That's gonna be huge. That's gonna be huge for this next battle. And especially if they're gonna do that and Navi just gets to like pick apart these armies one by one. I definitely like how Rose kind of goes for the like outlying buildings just because they're not as well defended. It's a really good way of just getting point denial. I feel like these haven't been touched in forever though. Yeah. There they are. <laughs> There's the armies. How do we manage to take back that Shrine of War? <clears throat> the Wu is a really good choice here. You want all that AoE splashing down. If that was a Wu Zenobia, that would probably... That would probably do really well. That would do really well if that was Wu Zenobia. I don't know if they have access to Zenobia. They must, right? Get up, trying to life. <clears throat> Look at that point different. Like, this game started the opposite way. And I feel like, I think it's Navi that's provisioning like crazy and using the provisioning skill 
So even though they're losing this arc, they might just have like an arc's worth of provisions already saved up. They they defended that super well. And this is where all these armies get back to defend here. Where are these going? That one on the shrine of on the shrine of war might be a little optimistic at best. And I like this. I like this. The, he doesn't have to do anything right now. He just has to gather until the fighting starts. It's a really good way of just getting those like minute little advantages. This is almost as laggy as an arc fight. Those managed to get here. There's an Aethel in there. But I believe they don't. Neither team has a Shrine of War buff. The Arties down here have been putting in work. Arties been doing really well against the swarms. That should go Navi's favor. This game is really tight. If Navi manages to cycle their troops in here, there should be an easy defense. I can't tell who the secondary has been. Already Sid. Oh, the dream. I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, it's my open field march. It does really well because it just is there's so much disarm in that comp. Navi defended that super well. I like that he's just down here messing up the outposts. This is another really good defense. Navi's really turned this around. Another couple of minutes and they're going to catch up in points. But then it's going to start coming down to provisioning. Navi's not provisioning super hard. Is Rose the one using? Rose still does have the Arc to Cap. I'm 
the provisions are too close to tell. I think Navi has a slight edge there. But I also wonder if... That's a good attack on the Shrine of War. I wonder if the people that have been attacking these have also been going after farmers. If Navi's been hitting farmers and they've just been dying, then they're in a really good spot. A lot more blue dots here. <clears throat> There's a whole lot more blue dots here. Oh, it is Navi using the caravan one. And you know what? I think that other arc might not matter, especially if they're doing it right. And I'm just missing where those caravans are. Navi could be sitting on a gold mine of provisions. What a buff here. Oh, this is a really, this is a really, really close game. Surprised they lost that. And here comes that death ball that's always terrifying. They're prepping for it, which is good. But they're doing so much work defending. They can't really mount a good offense. And Navi definitely needs to disrupt a building to start going ahead on points. But I feel like Rose is going to take this structure. I, I do like that, like, see, they always have marches somewhere gathering. And now he just pops in there. He got... Ooh, that's, that's big. Big point differential. You got, like, 38, 38 uh, provisions from that? That's probably going to the list.
Okay, in this spot, in this spot, I'm not sure exactly what the play is, but they definitely need to start defending their buildings and then getting a quick arc. They're going to have less than 10 minutes to cap it. Which will be hard, considering Rose is also going to go super heavy for this last arc. So I'm really liking that Navi capped that first arc right away. That should be fine. Fine, as long as they, they like make sure the troops in. That's gonna beat it in. That's all they need to do. I'm assuming he's now just gonna bounce. Yep. <clears throat> just disrupting those points for two minutes at a time. They got all their buildings back, but they're still way behind on points. They start going heavy mid, and that's what they're doing. And if Navi still has to the death, I'm really liking this. <laughs> I might actually, I might actually be able to come back from this. As long as they're defending, as long as they're defending, they're going to be fine. This formation in the middle. Yep. Um, they were running out of time. They had to they had to cap it then. They might have been able to defend it. Uh, they might have been able to hold it another couple of minutes, which probably would have been smart. But I think I think they capped it when there was like 2 minutes left. Okay, they got 10 points a minute more right now. From... That's because they don't... They, they all, none of these are actually gathering points right now, I guess.
There's eight minutes left here. And I think Navi can definitely pull this together. There's definitely a whole lot more Navi armies here. All those rallies are waiting. I, I, I can't tell what's going on there. Oh, that's going to be a good steal. I love that. Rose is moving that arc downfield. <laughs> this is getting really close to the point where Navi might not have enough time to cap it. Because at this point, Rose just needs to keep it away from structures. If he can get it and start making moves... I, I doubt they provisioned enough to make up for this point differential. Okay, that insatiable desire is super late, and I wonder, like, are, are they just there? Are they just there gathering in mass while this is still going on? Let me move away for a second so I don't crash. I feel like there's only two rallies. Oh no, it's not it's not there. That's a swarm.
That's a big swarm and a rally. I don't think I don't think Navi can take this right now. If they take this, if they take this, they might be able to catch it. They have a bunch of people. These people need to move down. Yeah. Oh my god, there's like a minute left. I don't know. Oh my god, this is so close. There's so many Rose armies here, though. I don't even know if the arc's enough at this point. Because Rose was provisioning hard. Rose was provisioning super hard. Yeah, there's no way that arc's going to move anywhere close enough. This this match was so close. If Navi might have been able to hold off on that opening a little more, that might have been the deciding... Oh my god, that was 2k points. That was 2k points. Ooh. <laughs> Fucking Lohar. It's almost identical on kills. Look at these provision scores. It's, it, it's funny to see because I know they were using the provisioning skill a lot. And they only managed to get like 300 more actual points. I don't know I don't know if that's a, a viable strategy unless you're also going after their farmers. That was a really good match though. I was super tight. 